cells uh, as a medicine can be very, very powerful and can treat things that we are um, not really able to treat with current uh, approved drugs. Uh, and cells can also make diseases uh, potentially curable. The concept of this center started several years ago with a, uh, with a roadmap that we did through a grant from the National Institute for Standards and Technology. And so that brought together about 30 industry partners and 16 academic institutions uh, collectively to outline what are the barriers and challenges and what we need to do to make cell therapies a real industry product and how do we grow the industry and make the United States a leader in this space. The Marcus Foundation put together the, the foundation uh, of this research at Georgia Tech. We are working with chemical engineers and electrical engineers and mechanical engineers to develop a whole bunch of tools from the start to finish of that manufacturing process. So we call it kind of needle to needle, right? You, you harvest cells from a patient, it goes through this complex manufacturing process and it's uh, put back into the patient. And within that space, we need a large number of engineering innovations and that this center, in conjunction with the Marcus Center, uh, will, uh, will facilitate and, and, and double. The Georgia Tech is the lead on this. We have uh, three major partners, which are the University of Georgia, University of Wisconsin-Madison, and the University of Puerto Rico in MagWest. And then we have affiliate partners like University of Pennsylvania. And then we have industry partners. And this ranges from the large pharma to tools and reagent suppliers to small businesses who are eager to partner with the center to catapult this technology and this industry forward. But there is also an associated challenge that industry has identified, which is the challenge of workforce. Industry has been concerned that as they expand and grow many, many folds in this area, they really do not have trained workforce to fill all the positions that would be available or becoming available now. And we also have to have a pipeline of new workforce coming in, so K through 12 training, uh, going into the middle school and high schools, bringing them into our research labs, showing them what cell manufacturing means and what incredible impact it can have in the lives of their family and, and friends and, and parents and others. Uh, and so there will be a large portion of the center that will be focused on workforce development, education, and developing a diverse and inclusive workforce. So this center will hopefully, going forward in the next five to 10 years, play a major role in bringing those therapies, making them more affordable, making them more accessible, and making them better quality.